Okay, here we are in a new week, which means we're going to be starting a new skill. And this week we are going to be working on adding and subtracting multi-digit numbers. And today the strategy we're going to look at is decomposing using tens and ones. And the word decomposing means to break down. So we're going to be breaking down the number into the tens and the ones, which means we have to use place value. And I wrote a reminder here about regrouping with our tens and our ones. It says we will be regrouping our tens and ones. Sometimes we need to borrow from the tens to get our ones. And I'm showing you this with the yellow bar, which is our one ten, which is why we have one bar, and our ten ones. You can see that they're separated and it fits right over our 110. So it's the same as our 10 ones. We're going to be using this later because we're going to have to regroup. So when do we use this strategy? We can use it when we like to work with place value and when we're trying to work with mental math. So let's try it with this problem. Marcus has two dogs. One dog weighs 72 pounds. His other dog weighs 45 pounds. How much more does a larger dog weigh than the smaller dog? So as good mathematicians do, we're going to circle the important information. We need the key numbers, 72 and 45, and we also have to decide our operation. So I'm looking and it says, how much more? So this is indicating that I need to subtract. So my number sentence is going to be 72 minus 45. So now we're going to look at the tens and ones. I'm going to start a chart. We're going to have the tens. We're going to have the ones. So in the number 72, there's a 7 in the tens place. So 7 times 10 means 70. I'm going to put a little addition sign here to remind myself that we're adding. Then I have a 2 in the 1's place, so I put a 2 in the 1 column. And 70 plus 2 equals 72, so I know I did that correctly. I'm going to do the same thing with 45. We have a 4 in the 10's place, which is 40. And a 5 in the 1's place, which is 5. I'm going to put my addition sign. Now I know that I am subtracting because in my word problem, my number sentence, it said subtract. So I'm going to see if I can subtract. So the first thing I do on the right, 2 minus 5. Now I'm thinking 5 is bigger than 2, which means I cannot subtract. So this is where we have to borrow using our 10. I'm going to slide that down. And our 1s. So I'm going to start a new chart for tens and ones. So I need to borrow a 10 from 70. So 70 minus 110 would give me 60. So now it becomes 10 ones. So I want to add 10 to the 2 to give me 12. So it remains the same. 70 plus 2 equals 72, and 60 plus 12 also equals 72. Now we had to borrow because 5 was larger than 2. Now we can keep 40 plus 5 and finish our subtraction. So 12 minus 5 gives me 7. 60 minus 40 gives me 20. Now I can finally get my answer. 20 plus 7 equals 27. And good mathematician, mathematicians always go back and see what their unit is. And I can see that we're looking at pounds. So my final answer is 27 pounds. So take your time, look over, 
make sure that you're checking in and making sure you understand how we borrowed the tens and use them to help us subtract. So we added those tens to the ones. Take your time. Good luck.